Good morning, guys. Hayden Aquilon here, coming at you with another uh, video. This one is by popular demand um, and long overdue. This one's going to be about grading books, uh, going over the conditions, also prepping them correctly. Um, I'm also going to talk about if I think conditioning um, is a big deal or not, and if it's something you really, really need to focus on. Um, so anyways, let's get started. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, that I haven't been doing consistent videos. I'm always putting, you know, the business first. Um, we're super busy right now. Um, I leave for a trip on uh, a week from yesterday, so six days um, from now. And I need to get two pallets out this week, so we're like full steam ahead. And so I'm gonna try and make more content, but we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to my little deadline. We try and do five pallets a month. Um, and with the holidays, I needed to do more this week because I'm not gonna be around next week. So, um, you know, I know that um, Amazon said you, you know the cutoff deadline for sending a product was December third. But, uh, you know, for books, our month's January, so you want to load them up quick so you can get them in by January um, because there's going to be a big uh, bottleneck after the holidays, guys. There's going to be a ton of stuff that is kind of sitting by the wayside, and they're going to have to process them all through, you know, after Christmas and into January. So we want to make sure and have our pallets at least there waiting to be processed. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, anyways, so I want to start first with talking about what types. So first of all, if you have any type of stickers on a book, you do not have to remove them. Um, there's only a few that I would recommend that you remove. So this is an example of one. This is, uh, you know, just wonderful daughter book. It's actually not even out of the wrapping. It's totally new, pretty much untouched. Um, but we got a sticker on the back and it has the price. So here's my recommendation. If you ever have stickers on your book, if they are not goodwill and they are not a price, you can leave them. And if you leave them, here's a, here's a, um, this is an extreme example. Um, you know, you can do, uh, for instance, half price books. I wish I had one of those. I looked for one, you guys, for a little bit, but I don't have a ton of time. So if there's a half price book sticker, and a lot of you probably know what it looks like, it's a long rectangle sticker. What I do is I just pull a sticker off of the Dymo and I just throw it right on top and cover it. Sometimes you'll do two of them to hide it, but do not spend your time peeling these things away. It's gonna take forever. Um, when you're going through hundreds of books or thousands like we are. And if you're paying employees, you know, that's going to start racking up all those costs for you. You do not need to do that, okay? I don't care what someone else told you. We sell thousands of books. I never get bad feedback. I don't get returns. It's just a sticker on the front. It looks fine. Um, here's an extreme example. These are actually just barcodes, but we weren't even going to try and peel these off. So I just covered them with two or three stickers. So see at the top, there's stickers on that one. Um, it's never gonna, it's never gonna look that bad. It's just gonna be one sticker like on the front of a book, and you're fine. Um, so don't worry about that, guys. Like, here's a book that I can't use. So for instance, if there was a sticker on front or price, I would just throw that on, and yeah, it'd be on the front. You can even, if you wanted to, we have a preset um, condition note. That we click one time, which you need to have if you don't have, by the way. We just click and it says, you know, book is in good condition with a sticker on the front cover or whatever. Some variation of that. Um, so also, um, important to note, you're going to get books like this. They have two sets of barcodes. It doesn't matter which one you put your uh, FMSKU sticker on. What does matter is you need to have both of them covered up. So on one side, you need to put, and I will do this, you need to put a sticker over one of the barcodes, like I just did, and then the other one is gonna be the FNSKU. 
Um, and that book's good to go there. Um, so yeah, these ones, peel them off. They're, the Goodwill stickers are easy to get off. Um, and then when it comes to conditioning, spend a little time on that. I used to use all condition notes. I did acceptable, good, very good, like new, um, or new. Sometimes I did have, I did sell a few new. Um, I only did because I actually had invoices to back them up. Um, I do not recommend that people sell new when books are not new. A lot of people are doing that and yeah, there's more profit, but that's not only shady, but you're probably gonna get caught and it's not worth it. So don't be doing that. Um, so I was doing, you know, all the different variations of conditioning for a while. And what I found out was one, it slows you down. Um, two, I didn't see any real proof that conditioning was helping my sales. Um, in fact, since I started doing, here's what I do now. I only do good or acceptable. That's it. Um, every single one of these is good. Um, a lot of them look like they're freaking brand new, but like I said, I don't see any difference um, in the sales. The only way that I do acceptable is if it it's pretty badly beaten um and if there's if there's water damage i actually don't even sell the book anymore um it's just not worth a bad feedback so you know acceptable would be a book that has pretty gnarly wear on the front and it has just highlight after highlight inside it has handwritten notes all that good stuff um i don't have an acceptable anywhere near me or else i'd show you um so anyways, I just stick with good and acceptable. It helps you become more efficient. Um, and I will say, if you are listing in acceptable, I do see, I do feel that you are at a disadvantage selling the book if it's acceptable. I think people frown upon acceptable in general, I'm not saying they don't sell, but good versus acceptable, you're gonna sell way more. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, I would say 90% of the books that go out to 95% are labeled as good. So, you know, good is for us, it's a very wide spread. Um, you know, it covers like new, all, even new, we don't, we'll never call a book new. Even if I get a book new, it's good. So it covers new all the way down to, you know, good itself. And then there's acceptable, that's it. Um, also, Something cool, I wanna show you guys this, what I found in a Gaylord. This is awesome. And maybe some of you can help me with this. This is, I found this in one of the Gaylords. It's not, I don't know if it's real. It says it's officially licensed on the back. Um, but it does also have a, it says figure. Oh, it has a, it has a number on it too, like an authenticity number. But it has a, um, a logo that says Figure Toy Company. So anyways, I looked at that and these are selling for like $350 to $400 as like toys. So I don't, I'm don't. i trying to figure out if it's real or not. Um, if one of you wants to sell this puppy, I'll mail it to you. We can split the profits by the way, so let me know. Um, anyways, that was a cool find. I also found a brand new uh, uh, iPad not long ago, which worked great and I still have it. Um, and my buddy, shout out to Brandon, he found two grand cash in a book that was basically, you know, the books where you open them up and they're empty inside. It was just stashed right in there. So you can find some pretty cool stuff, guys. So keep your eyes open out there. Um, please let me know uh, in the comments if you have any questions regarding conditioning. Um, I'll end real quick and follow that up with Make sure in Accelerolist if you're using that. I don't have experience with other platforms, guys, so Accelerolist only. Make sure you have all preconditioned um, notes for your conditioning to speed things up. Also, you can do, this is really cool, you can preset condition, not condition, no, I'm talking condition. You can have the, pre, the condition preset. So every time we don't even have to click good, it's already selected for us. So that speeds things up too. So... Um, also hit the like button 
and uh, subscribe if you're not and also check out any of our other videos we have a ton out there and i'm gonna try and just get more out there guys again it's been tough it's go time it's q4 and book season's right around the corner so thank you for listening and i will talk to you soon have a good one